Hey guys, today I give you my sneaker thoughts on the Adidas Futurecraft 4D. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cut Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. The conversation you've all been waiting for, the Adidas Futurecraft 4D. Man, oh man, these sneakers to me are dope sauce. Been anticipating these sneakers for a while, and finally we get word that these sneakers will be releasing apparently on January. January 18th per Yeezy Mafia. Dope sauce. I love that these sneakers are coming out mainly because they have the same silhouette as the beloved Ultra Boost 1.0. I love the Ultra Boost 1.0. The Ultra Boost 2.0 was cool. The Ultra Boost 3.0 was. The Ultra Boy 4.0 was. But the fact that they're bringing this sneaker back with the 1.0 silhouette really makes me appreciate this sneaker. In addition to that, they have a really dope concept, a sci-fi looking concept in the 4D base of the sneaker being the midsole and the outsole where they apparently use a carbon material that is 4D printed, whatever the heck that means, and they place it onto this sneaker. And I think it's gonna do a really good job when it is finally released. In addition to that, I was thinking, what about if they made the outsole out of a glow-in-the-dark material? I think people would go bananas. And I, I hope down the road they consider doing that. Hello, Adidas, consider doing that. In regards to popularity, I feel like the sneaker community has received this sneaker very well. I think a lot of people overall like the sneaker, but I hope it won't be overtaken by hype beasts. I'm using hype beasts in a negative connotation, meaning people that buy something just because other people are buying it and not because they truly like the shoe. So bad thought. I hope that this particular Adidas sneaker, the Futurecraft 4D, does not go into the trend of the hype beast. I hope it doesn't get on that like Yeezy status where it, you know, is going to be, you know, scooped up by all resellers and the people who truly want to rock the sneaker don't rock it. But something deep down inside me tells me that that sneaker will hit that status. I truly want to get one of these sneakers and hopefully I'll be able to cop a pair. And the bold statement of the day is I believe that this Futurecraft 4D. 4D Adidas sneaker will definitely, definitely go or supersede the popularity of the Ultra Boost, the popularity of the NMDs, the popularity of Tubulars, and yes, the popularity of Yeezys. Yes, especially if the marketing is A1 on this particular sneaker. If they get this sneaker in the hands of Kanye or get this sneaker in the hands of someone that is high on the fashion or sneaker totem pole, I think that this sneaker will definitely do numbers will sell out and be something of a grail when it comes to years down the road. Let me know down in the comment section what you think of that bold statement and if I'm just crazy and off my rockers right now. I love that Adidas is coming you know forward with new ideas particularly with this midsole and outsole of the Futurecraft 4D. In addition to that I love that they brought an old sneaker that a lot of people like in the Ultra Boost 1.0 and meshed the two together and made a dope concept overall. Hopefully everybody will be able to cop these sneaker and I like that in general and that's my good thought for the Futurecraft 4D. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not already. And if you got a little good information and your boy treated you well, hit that notification for the one time. Anyways guys, I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.